We do have a few organizations that wanted to take the opportunity today to recognize MMPA's 100th milestone. Two of those organizations are J.P. Morgan and CoBank. They have been great partners of the MMPA over the years. We greatly value the relationship we have with them and the support they've provided. We are pleased to have several representatives of both organizations in the audience with us today. And at this time, I would like to call on Mike Swikert with the Agribusiness and Food Banking Division of J.P. Morgan Bank. Please join us on the stage, Mike. Well, uh, good morning. As uh, Ken said, I'm Mike Schweiker with J.P. Morgan Chase, and I have the honor today to congratulate and recognize Michigan Milk Producers Association for this 100th anniversary celebration. This is truly a great accomplishment. Our relationship with Michigan Milk Producers Association started when the National Bank of Detroit opened for business on March 24th, 1933. That is exactly 83 years ago today when MMPA opened the ninth checking account with the institution on a day when we took in $9 million of cash deposits within the first three hours. As you already know, this checking account is still in use today, getting the milk checks or the modernized ACH payments out to you, the members. Relationships. Relationships are very important, whether it's in business or in life. With a great board of directors, management team, member owners, both MMPA and J.P. Morgan Chase has continued to grow and prosper together. At J.P. Morgan, we're proud to have such a great organization select us as a long-term banking partner. We look forward to continued growth and success going forward for another 100 plus years. I'd like to present Ken and Joe this award, and it reads, let me uh, get this sort of like the Stanley Cup here. They have a nice little white glove. <laughs> it reads, congratulations to Michigan Milk Producers Association on 100 years of service to dairy farmers from Chase, MMPA's banking partner since 1933. Before I call the representative from CoBank up, I would like to publicly thank CoBank for their annual Sharing Success Matching Grant Program. For the last four years, CoBank has provided an annual $5,000 matching grant to the Dairy Fund of Michigan's Youth Livestock Scholarship Program. Their support helps provide educational opportunities for youth interested in the dairy industry. Thank you, CoBank. Now I'd like to call on Tom Halverson, Chief Banking Officer of CoBank, who will make a presentation. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. So on behalf of CoBank's Board of Directors, our management team, and our many members, I'm pleased to be here today to help Michigan Milk celebrate its 100 years uh, in the past, and to celebrate as it looks confidently towards its future. CoBank, which is part of the farm credit system, which is uh, happily also uh, celebrating its 100th anniversary this year, has been supporting Michigan Milk as a banking partner for, for decades. And we're very proud to have Michigan Milk as a customer owner of CoBank. A hearty congratulations as well this morning on the decision that we just heard to donate 100 gallons of milk per day during uh, the year 2016. 
what a noble endeavor to, to celebrate and a contribution to make. Uh, so I'm happy to tell you that CoBank will be very pleased to make a donation to, to add in the, in the efforts that you've just announced. So on behalf of, of all of us at CoBank, please accept this plaque that I have uh, that reads, uh, congratulations on 100 years of exemplary service to the dairy industry, and we wish you continued success. Hope we can find a place for this in the trophy case. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tom. The next organization I'd like to introduce is Consumers Energy. We have appreciated the opportunity to work more closely with Consumers Energy over the last uh, several years. Here with us today is Chris Laird, Director of Business Customer Experience, and Sanju Gwynn, Business Account Manager. Please help me welcome them to the stage. Thank you, Ken. It's great to be here today, sharing in the celebration of the 100-year anniversary of Michigan Milk Producers Association, alongside many of you, its members. As the Agricultural Account Manager, I am part of a team at Consumers Energy to help serve our Michigan farmers. Also here with me today is Chris Laird, who is the Executive Liaison to Michigan Milk Producers Association, our Agricultural Energy Efficiency Advisors, Dwayne Watson and Holly Whitmeyer, who are in the audience, and our Strategic Account Manager, Matt Berghoff, who could not be here. He's back at the office working on restoration activities. <laughs> it is an honor to work with each one of you as we continue to grow our communities and the state of Michigan. We are passionate about doing everything in our power to see you thrive, because without farmers, our state wouldn't be the same. Farmers have been the backbone of this great state for decades. I look around the room and I see the many faces who have and are making a difference in their respective communities. You have the vision, the passion, the dedication, and the innovation to continue the great work you do for years to come. And at Consumers Energy, we want to continue making your dreams a reality. We are here today to give an award to a company that we have worked closely with, the Michigan Milk Producers of America, sorry, Michigan Milk Producers Association. The reason that they're receiving this award is for their 100 years of dedication to the state of Michigan. You recently donated 12,000 gallons of milk to help Flint families through the recent water crisis. Nothing was required of you to do that, but you stepped up just to do the right thing, as President Ken Nobis puts it. We have a saying at Consumers Energy that we'd like to leave things better than we found them. Well, the Michigan Milk Producers Association embodies that commitment. It's a winning formula that has helped this state prosper for decades and will continue to do so for decades to come. I actually have a funny story that I'd like to share with you about Ken Nobis. <laughs> a few years back, I met Ken at an event with my husband. When we were talking, I had told Ken about the reasons why I prefer margarine over butter. Well, if you all know Ken, he took that as an opportunity to educate me on the advantages of butter over margarine. So a little while later, I was at the grocery store, and I'm walking through the butter aisle, and I hear Ken's voice in my head, pick up the butter. And I did, and much to Ken's credit, I am now a proud user of butter. <laughs> well, my husband is a different story, but because I do the grocery shopping in the house, our days of I can't believe it's not butter are over. <laughs> In closing, we just want to thank Ken and the Michigan Milk Producers Association for their leadership 
in making this a great state. The, su the success of our state is in all of our hands. I am confident when we work together, Michigan will have a bright future that we can all be proud of. As one 100-year company to another, we would like to present Ken, the Michigan Milk Producers Association, the leadership team, and all its members this award for 100 years of service And here's to another 100 more to come. In addition to that, I'd like to announce that Consumers Energy Foundation is proud to sponsor, proud to partner with Michigan Milk Producers Association, as well as the Food Bank of Michigan. And we are donating $5,000 towards the Project Milk. It's an opportunity that we would love to be part of. And again, thank you for having us. And we look forward to continuing our strong, a strong relationship. Thank you, Sanju and Chris. We, we do greatly appreciate it. We appreciate all the recognition we're getting from people. Uh, it's, it's heartfelt, and uh, it, it's just nice to stand here and be able to be a part of this whole process. So thank you very much.